voices to the media, to your twisted, immoral society, and your communist government. We hate you all, and we are ready for war. We will always speak up and expose the corruption, the authoritarianism, the tyranny, and the hate. Truth dispels lies as light dispels darkness. From an undisclosed location, deep in an occupied zone, you are listening to Covert Radio. Hello, this is Covert Radio. It's early uh, Monday morning on October the 3rd, 2022. And I just have a a very quick video. I'm not going to get all into this here. I wanted to make a short video because I want to make sure, um, I want to make sure people are actually listening, which I'm sure they are the right people. I should say the right people are listening. You know, that's the one thing I can say about covert radio. And I, I know there's a lot of people that do, um, live streams and do shows in the sector and I just recently looked just to see a couple people and I don't I really don't understand how somebody can sit and do seven eight hours six hours seven hours and I mean you know who like who has the time I (laughs) who has the time to do that daily almost And then it's like there's a bunch of people that are involved in this. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm naive. Maybe it's the whole, you know, ignorance is bliss thing. And, you know, I don't know. I just know what I know. That's it. I I really don't know what any of you know. I mean, but to see the amount of people that are so involved in this day-to-day tragedy of true freeman you know it makes me laugh because i think back to you know one of the uh complaints because it's just it's all i can't i don't want to get off track it's it's literally mind-blowing because i remember one of the arguments when i was publicly once every few days you know, uh, holding a public figure under scrutiny, you know, there was, there was a problem with that. But now these same exact people are doing that to a guy that really can't defend himself. And, you know, I just think, what joy do you get out of this? Why are all these people clamoring around and, and, and taking their punches to a guy that can't fight? You actually ought to be ashamed of yourself. But then again, too, I think, is this like, do you think this is a fair fight? Like, do you really think this is a fair fight? And if so, I got to question your cognitive abilities and your intelligence because it might not be. I mean, you know, it might not be unfair is what I'm saying. Maybe True Freeman's, uh, you know, life is an actual challenge or something for you. And I don't understand what the end game is. When is, when are you going to be satisfied? When he's in jail, when he's dead? Like, when, what is, what are you going for? And I'm talking about, like, let's see something here. I was listening to uh, D Rizzo's video here and I have a bunch of work to get to, so I'm not really going to get all into this, but, um, you know, what is the end goal? And and all these people are involved and, you know, and I actually, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, link this, uh, I'm going to link this video down in the description, uh, I know he said in the beginning of this video, it was like shitty Greg or somebody. And, uh, 
you know, I looked on his channel here, shitty Greg cult leader, and it's like, you know, just almost every day, five hours, seven hours, an hour, five hours, like three hours, six hours, four hours, five hours, like when, how, and this is apparently all about true Freeman. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. A guy who really doesn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, who's not, you know, making money illegally, who's not, you know, selling fake cruises and, uh, you know, getting donations for a, a, a documentary that only came out to avoid legal action that was shot on a cell phone. Uh, it's just amazing to me that you people are so vicious and unrelenting against a guy who can't defend himself. And I think to myself, so is this, is this your life? Is this a fair fight? Like, what is the end game here? You know, I'm going down through these comments and it's like this comment here, daughter one with a rose, Sir Rizzo. I am so grateful for my life and my mentality. Please keep doing this. We all need to know these things. <laughs> you need to know this. This is what you need to know. Have a Oh my God. Have a prosperous week, everyone. <laughs> I assure you, daughter one, that the people who are here every day, almost every day for five or six, eight, seven hours a day, obsessing over a a guy who can't defend himself again who really doesn't have a pot to piss in again who really doesn't have a window to throw it out of and it's been recently proven that he doesn't even really have a safe shower to get showered you know after he throws it the piss out the window like so i mean what are what are you doing like you people are lunatics the loony bunch, the loony bunch, like lunatics. Have a prosperous week, everyone. What, do you even know what the word prosperous means? I'm asking you a very serious question. We're talking about a guy who does really nothing to anyone. Except, you know, exercise his chip on his shoulder from his inferiority complex and talks a lot of shit on the internet. So, uh, other than that, the <laughs> he's not robbing people. He's not hurting people. He's not ripping people off. He's not having fake fundraisers. He's not selling fake cruises. He's not stealing other people's music, spitting some garbage lyrics on it, and then reselling it. He's not destroying, actively destroying other people's lives. All of which is documented on covert radio. That is all of which has been done by Tommy Sotomayor. And really, this is probably pretty much the same people because I think I did establish on my last video, this is all for daddy still. It's all for daddy. Maybe daddy will love you when you piss on True Freeman's grave. Maybe then, maybe daddy will pat you on the head. Maybe. <laughs> hey, don't take it personal because I don't know any of you. And I don't know, I'm, this isn't against anybody. This is against a force. The loony bunch. Lunatic squad, like whatever. Think up something cool. Because you're lunatics. For real. You'd have to be. How do you prosper? Like, what are you... Pro 
I mean, obviously nobody here works. <laughs> and why are you so worried about like his dog food? I mean, I, I'm not going to really critique this video because D Rizzo, I genuinely believe you do good work by keeping everybody informed, but I don't understand why it's so complex to certain people that the guy has some money so he invests into something that makes him even more money? You don't understand the concept? Like somebody had said in this video that he had gotten money for legal fees or something and then bought concrete. You don't understand what he's doing? You don't think... <laughs> So let's see here. I can make $6,000 doing a concrete job. Uh, some friends of mine online or people who support me gave me $1,000. So now, do I take that $1,000 and flip it into some concrete so I can, uh, you know, put five more thousand dollars towards my, uh, my, my goal here? Or do I just use the $1,000? Let's see here. Yet the whole time Sotomayor is putting bounties on people with money that was supposed to go to a documentary while Sotomayor is literally buying prostitutes all documented going to Vegas. He's staying in the most lavish hotels without a job, only supplied with money from begging and, and wet boys online and fake fundraisers and schemes and scams who he himself with his own mouth had admitted he's a con artist. I mean, you be, you don't, you're not doing six hour long shows scrutinizing that, but you're, you're doing six or seven hour long shows scrutinizing a guy that don't have a pot to piss in. <laughs> wow. And this isn't lunacy to you. Okay. Wow. I just want to say a couple things here. Number one, uh, true Freeman, sir, if you listen to this, I have two things for you, okay? Number one, I'm offering you a platform to tell your story in the most concise manner and controlled manner because from what I've been gathering just as, you know, as recently as I've been paying attention to this, you talk too much. And I think that's the general consensus. And I'm sure it's the alcohol or whatever you have going on. I'm giving you an opportunity to concisely in a sober manner, in a controlled manner, sit down with me on a Q and a completely uh, neutral ground. I'm not going to bring up the past. I don't want to talk about the past. I want to talk about the last, say, year, maybe two years, even though I know that all of this stems over a period of, of six years or so. I want to specifically focus on the last year. I want your side of the story. It's clear and concise Q&A uh, so that if need be, you can uh, use this as a reference or whoever can use this as a reference. The other thing is this. Uh, give me a good email. I don't, I don't know where to contact you at. I have something for you that's important. And call it a strategy. Call it, you know, help. But... It seems that there are so many uh, practicing attorneys critiquing your every single move. There's so many paralegals in the sector that, I mean, oh, my God, it's amazing. And, you know, what makes me laugh about this, oh, I didn't mean to cut myself off, but the, all these paralegals, these practicing attorneys, lawyers, I mean, I, I don't, I, do we have any judges listening in the sector? All these people are critiquing every single word you say, every potential, <laughs> potential situation you may find yourself in. Uh, and I feel it's only fair 
that you possibly get some strategy help or some information that is beyond valuable at this point. So if you want to leave a comment, go ahead. If you want to give me an email, go ahead. If you want to tell me fuck off, go ahead. You've done it before. I'm just saying. I'm just amazed at all the paralegals and, and attorneys in the in the sector that I never knew were there before. And this is what makes me laugh. And again, I'm not critiquing your video, D. Rizzo. I know it was a combination of a bunch of stuff. You do great work. You're putting a lot of this information together. But here's what makes me laugh about all of this. With, with the hardcore sector, the sector's so hard. Yeah, we ain't snitches. We don't do nothing. Yet, all you do is promote snitching. And now, all of a sudden, like, attorneys are, are good, too? <laughs> I don't, you know, this is, this is another ignorance is bliss type situation. Do any of you really know any attorneys or lawyers? Do you walk among them? Have you rubbed elbows with them? Have you known them for 30-some years? I have. And let me tell you something. The attorneys who are out, a lot of them are not moral, a lot of them are not ethical, and a lot of them do not walk a higher ground. A lot of them. They are motivated by money. They are motivated by money. I don't know any attorneys who get orgasmic over practicing law. They were able to memorize a lot of information. They had the means to go to a college or take over daddy's practice or take over pappy's practice. And they just followed it, whatever the case may be. I don't know any of the attorneys I know, which are close to me, five who give two fucks about law. And I'm dead serious. They are in this for the money. They're in this for the billable hours, $800, $1,000 an hour. So that they can take three or four months off a year. So they can take that month-long trip to Cancun or Hawaii and then travel down into Venezuela blowing money like like they're uh, Bill Gates, they're in this for money. They don't give a fuck about morals or ethics. What do you think ambulance chasers are? How do you think they got, how do you think they got that name? Because they're moral and ethical? Yet, all, all these, these paralegals in the sector all of a sudden are, you're discussing case law all of a sudden. You're like, oh yeah, and uh, in, in Smith uh, versus the state of Illinois, um, the uh, honorable judge so-and-so, uh, you know, they, they determined that in 1806, there was a bit like, come, are you serious? And now what attorneys are good, just like you're promoting getting the police involved. You're promoting calling the mayor's office. You want to report him to YouTube. You want to do this. You want to do that. Yet when somebody like Sotomayor was actually committing crimes, I mean, actually using YouTube to run a an actual criminal organization. There's there's crickets. Nobody cares. But now now you do care or something. Right. I mean, I'm so confused as to what's going on. I'm I'm beyond confused. Or you're all lunatics. I mean, I because I, I can't wrap my head around this. So attorneys are cool. We study law now. We get the police involved at any moment uh, or any opportunity we can. We want to make sure the mayor is abreast to the current situations going on in Indiana, in true Freeman's little city there. We want to make sure YouTube is aware of the current situations. Not, not this stuff over here. Just this. And uh, we, we love attorneys and we love it all. Now, attorneys are moral and ethical and, you know, they walk such a high ground. And I'm sure that, you know, come Monday, which is today or tomorrow, you know, True Freeman's attorney is going to want to discuss the finer points of going to trial. 
um, or, or they're going to make sure that they go over how much money uh, one could expect. Now, this two thousand dollars, you could if you spend it this way. You know, if we go to listen to me, he don't give a fuck. This is about money. Unless you have an attorney trying to make a name for themselves, or unless you have an attorney trying to specialize, even though they really technically aren't allowed to, but they can uh, tongue in cheek specialize in a certain area of law like DMCA, like copyright (laughs) or family law. Why do you think there's attorneys who advertise divorces, $150, divorce, 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 divorce? Is is he is he taking on uh landmark cases dealing with, you know, official oppression? No, he don't give a fuck. He's trying to make this quick 150 bucks and doing divorces with his eyes closed. And that is that is all the attorneys and lawyers that I personally know. They don't give a fuck. They're trying to find their niche. They want to specialize in a pool of sharks in something that every other attorney can't fucking do or doesn't want to specialize in. So if True Freeman looks far and wide and they are licensed in his state and this attorney wants to specialize in taking cases such as this, harassment, cyber stalking, stalking. I mean, this is a this is a smart move for any young attorneys listening to this because this is going to continuously snowball bigger and bigger in the future. So why not get your feet wet with something like this? So that when somebody in Indiana or you can now advertise this state, this state, this state. Are you being harassed online? Or is is uh, your boss coming after you for after you quit your job? You know, call our law offices at da 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 da. da. Oh, here comes the flood of calls. You want to spend two thousand dollars a minute to say, "Are you getting divorced?" Try to find our ad or remember our name amongst the fifteen thousand other attorneys in your city that specialize in divorce. They they're doing this to specialize. That's what he needs to focus on. And if it's not about that and he has not found an attorney to do that, it may be simply about money. No fucking attorney wants to do extra work for $2,000. I assure you, I assure you, they're trying to do the most minimal amount of work for the most amount of money. It has nothing to do with the ethics of this case. It has nothing to do with the morality of this case. It has nothing to do with right and wrong. Or even if he gives two fucks, if True Freeman goes to prison or not, or takes a plea deal. It's nice and simple and quick money if he takes a plea deal. That's all that fucking attorney cares about. Are you kidding me? (laughs) No, they're they're gonna sit. <laughs> they're gonna sit and discuss case law and the finer points of uh, yeah. like come on, man. Like, but I just I, I just want to make sure I'm I'm up on the cool stuff now. Attorneys, cool, awesome. We discuss case law and the finer points of the Constitution, um, maritime law, and and other things that uh, are are important. And then police, we constantly are in contact with the police. We have their personal Twitter accounts and we tag them on a bunch of things. We're not snitches. And then the the mayor, uh, we constantly, we want to be in contact with them too. And then we also want to uh, be in contact with YouTube and make sure they have everything. Get the fuck out of here. People are lunatics. And I'm Covert Radio. One of the smartest people you will ever, ever know in your life. You guys take care. You have a good day.